Okay, the tricky part here of putting this, now we're working with this pulley. This guy right here we're working with. It's a little difficult because it's got a lot of hardware involved, you know, a lot of sleeves and washers. And then that bolt goes all the way through. Right. Right behind that cluster of yellow wires is the nut that holds it in place. And the best way I've found just to hold it in place is just to set your wrench on it. And I believe it's a 9 16 Just set your wrench on it and then you can use this little hole. See there's a tiny hole right there. Put you a screwdriver from the top going down, and that'll hold the box end of the wrench in place. That way you don't have to physically hold the nut while you're trying to assemble all this. If that makes sense. All right, so let's look down underneath here. Bear with me. Working one-handed. It's a little tricky because you got a specific order. See it right there in the center coming from the top. There's a tiny washer. Then the large, you know, the, you got two large sleeves. And then a little bushing, uh, I guess you could call it. It's hard to get a look at this here. There you go. That bushing is pointing downward and it fits exactly through this little guard this little, little guard right here and this guard has a slot that it has to fit in exactly on the other side of this little bolt you know this long bolt it has to fit in there okay then all that sits flush on this plate you know this main plate that everything is rotating on then underneath it is a big flat washer if I can get your view there you go, you see the big flat washer is actually sitting on top of the pulley, but under the plate. Okay, see that guy right there. All right, and of course the the, uh, the pulley itself, I'll look, here's the old one, the old one here. The pulley will face up like this. And that big flat washer will sit on that then you go underneath underneath the pulley not easy to display all this underneath the pulley you'll have the small washer which you cannot see here I'll show you on the old one here there will be a small washer, because it's going to be facing upward like this. There will be a small washer sitting on that, and then the big flat washer will be on the outside there. Then the bolt itself, the long bolt, will go up through it all. Okay? This is, I mean, it's just, there's so much hardware going on here that it gets tricky to, uh, you know, to just, to just, not one only to display it to you as well as describe it all to you because you try to put it all back together and if you've forgotten how everything goes, hang tight. There we go. Yeah, under there you'll have the small washer first then the large flat washer, then the bolt itself, if it's focusing, all that goes up through the body, you know, the main uh, frame or the main body, and then it'll all attach to the nut, which is right behind that cluster of wires. I hold that in place with my 9 16 wrench. Seems like a lot going on, but it's not too bad. I'm just trying to describe it because I've never done this before on my mower. And it's a little tricky, but not too bad once you really take a look at everything. Anywho, check out my other ones. You know, I've got tons of videos on this tractor. This is a 2003 Troy built. 46-inch uh, deck that's got the 21-horse Intec 
V-twin engine. I did all kinds of restora restoration of this thing over the past year or two. So check out the other videos if you have one of these and you're you know having trouble with certain maintenance issues or repairs or whatnot. I may have already done a video that can help you. All right, y'all. Subscribe, like, follow, share, blah, 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 blah. Y'all have a good weekend. See you.